Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new deck music video. I appreciate you dropping by. And today we are reacting to the Grave Alter EP by Muerte. Muerte is a phenomenal producer. I have known about Muerte since 2022 uh, with Patron Saint and Black Belly off of uh, one of his Disciple Roundtable EPs. He also had another EP called Near Death Experience on Disciple Roundtable. That was just a phenomenal showcase of his sounds. And even since then, he has really improved on his sound, on his delivery, on his ideas, and has really shown off the fact that he can pull off insane things in the dubstep realm that no one else can do, such as full orchestra casting. What? So I hope you enjoy my reaction to the Grave Alter EP by Muerte. Muerte's Grave Alter EP, first track, Gravel in Your Heart. Classic Muerte sound already. Wow, that came in really interesting. I, I mean, well, I don't mind that. That was a little loud though. I, I have no idea where he's going with this. Muerte moment? Yeah, for real. Where's the beat? I want the beat right now. somewhere hey. hold on i have to sneeze something's blooming because i'm freaking out right now let me go back a little bit i've heard this from somewhere but i don't know where wow what do i do Oh my, that pitch up, dude. I love the, I, I, mm, I'm, hold on. Okay, I love the idea to this. I don't think this is the heaviest Muerte track, but I love the idea to this. The execution is phenomenal. All the sounds really work well together. I will be honest though, Muerte is very good, but for me, sometimes he's just not my favorite and so I don't listen to him often. I, I don't know why that is, it's, it's, it's just something I can't control. I really respect his music though. And there's some tracks that are really good. This might be one of them. Okay, he's already changing, I hear it. Oh my gosh! Those strings are ridiculous. Well, uh, <laughs> what do I say about that? Classic Muerte sound. I, I really don't know what to say. He's just improving again and again, and he's making more and more music. Love it. Um, there were a few tonalities I wasn't really connecting with, but that second switch, chat, that was... That, that was a switch. Like, people should be taking notes from that. Mud in your veins. That was a really cool drum film. That was like marching band type stuff. Disgusting! Oh, and that take back! There, oh, I love that vocal! I know where that's from. And there's a lot of the sounds that he's using are just really top notch. I have nothing to say right now. Classic Muerte melodic stuff in the heavy, that what, how? That reminds me of just so many of his previous projects. And I love that sound where he's just got those random chords that sound so good. I, the boy, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and that synth. Oh, that's it. Okay, really abrupt ending there, unfortunately. But wow. That I, again, I don't have words. Like I was saying, those melodic chords uh, in the back of that second drop really just, that's just classic Muerte. I love it. Let's go on to Opus Regalia. Can we get bro like a full on orchestra at this point? Like just, just have all the people there. This is all you I'm so not ready. That wet 
That is that like freaking diarrhea dubstep. What? Man, I would love a melodic Murate EP. Or even just a track. Which he has done before, I just want more. Okay, this part reminds me of Subtronic's opus on the Fractals um, album. Melodic Murate has proven time and time again to be his best music. I, no, I, I agree. His heavy stuff is really good and clearly he likes to produce that more, it sounds like, but he's still mixing the elements. I would just love a Melodic Murate. Um, I just, I love it. One of the best midsections. This is the one of the best midsections I've heard from where it's a, again, it reminds me of Subtronics's uh, opus, which I love that. It's got that, those technology sounds. And with the strings here as well, like, wow, I'm so not ready. This is On three. And what are those bongos? What? I agree, Boyd. That pitch bend. Oh, mm, he's teasing me with melodic stuff right now. Is it bad to say that I like this song for everything but the drops? The drops are really good, but everything else is just like, I love it. Drop two is okay. There were a few elements in it that was just really, really cool. Um, but I don't, I don't, mm. I'm just, there's sometimes that I feel like his sound gets meshed in with a lot of different songs and some of them sound the same. And I think this is one of them. Maybe completely agree. <laughs> Dude, I agree. Okay. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. Yeah. Like I liked all of it. It's just, I don't know. I feel like the sounds that Muerte continues to use, as good as they are, gets meshed in with a lot of his other projects and therefore becomes less unique and original over time. That is not dissing on Muerte sound. I love Muerte sound. Um, but I just feel like sometimes it gets meshed in with other projects that he's done. Let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Two me dice. I want to know how to say that because that is probably Spanish. Tu me dice is how you say it. In English, you tell me. Wow, yeah, I was right. Okay, I'm I'm into this right now. Muerte did the Spanish thing. Well, y'all know Muerte is Spanish for death, right? Okay, you you have a full. He really did. He really did score a movie. You have strings, percussion, like percussion in an orchestra. You have horns. I don't think I heard just trumpets. I might be wrong though, but. Can we get this man a full orchestra at this point? And now they're just like dancing on the streets. That's what I think with this. Okay, why does this, that that little section, hold on, that little section reminded me of National Treasure. Have y'all watched National Treasure in the movies? That little tiny section, I'm going back to it. This. You cannot tell me that does not sound like National Treasure. Woo! Oh, that fill. Man, I would be so down for sustains right now. That's okay, I like this just as good. The pitch movement is just unmatched right now. Uh, no words. <laughs> Just no words, honestly. Um, me entering a tomb type beat, honestly, though. Me me exploring in foreign territory type beat. <laughs> Corpse wax. I love that percussion sound right there. Oh my gosh. That, this is the loudest one, I think. Dude started and ended the EP with the crunchiest tracks. Probably a smart move. 
to break it up. So, okay, let me be honest here. Let me be honest. A bunch of people want me to review this. This is still going to be a video. I like the Muerte sound. It's just getting old for me. I don't know if any of you feel that too. Uh, I don't know. I just, I really like the orchestral stuff. I think it just works. It's really cool. Uh, I just, the, I just, his drop sounds are starting to get old for me. Does that make sense? I don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but I, uh, I don't know if anyone is with me on that because I like this, but the past few EPs, I have connected with his music, but it's not been something that I consistently go back to day after day because it's that good. Like, it's really good. I don't think a lot, not many people in this scene could reproduce something this good with even their sound. Like, Muerte, high, high level of respect, and I love it. I just, for me, I think the sound is getting a little old. And that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, and like Horror Divine, I really didn't go back to, although there was some really insane tracks on here. You know what I mean? Occult Lullaby, I went back to Dream Chamber and Soap Mummies a few times. His Gift of Dying EP and Near Death Experience, though, I went back to pretty often. There was a lot of songs on his Near Death Experience EP, and this is definitely going to be a low-end opinion, you could say. All of these songs on the Near Death Experience EP on Disciple Roundtable was phenomenal. His Gift of Dying EP, Pat Patron Saint and Black Belly were insane. And yeah, and like that's the stuff. I will still go back to some of those songs, but his newer things, I'm just, I, I'm connecting with them, but they're not staying in my listens, if that makes sense. So I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the entirety of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like down below. I release these videos all the time, and I'm sure you will love it if you enjoyed this video. If you want to get more deck music content or you want to get in contact with me, feel free to join my Discord. It'll be the link in the description. Also, don't forget about all of the artist socials also in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.